What's up everybody, welcome back to Toge Masters. Today we're going to show you how to install the Mishimoto 12 inch race fan into our 240SX. I already removed the bolts that are holding on the slim fan on the driver's side. I'm going to show you what that looks like with both of the slim fans on there. As you can see, all the holes are already drilled out on the radiator shroud for the slim fans. And here's what it looks like with the new race fan. It doesn't line up with any of those holes there, so I'm going to have to make new holes as well as open it up. You can see here I already used a sharpie and traced it out, so we're going to have to go ahead and cut that. Another side note with the race fans, they are quite thicker than the original slim fans that came with the Mishimoto shroud. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're installing these. You might run into clearance issues with the motor or other things in the engine bay. Here I'm just cutting out the trace marks for the new fan. It's quite a lot larger than the original slim fans, so we're going to have to trim a bunch of this off. For anyone that's looking to upgrade their fans, I would highly recommend you not get the 12 inch slim fans. They typically pull a lot less CFM than your stock fans would have. So after trimming out the inside, we're going to go ahead and drill out the holes for the mounting points for the new fan. And I'm just using the same hardware that came with the original fan shroud. Uh, it's just under 10 mils that holds this in place. So with the new fan installed, I'm going to go ahead and drop this back into the engine bay. Uh, it takes a little bit of wiggle room to get that in there. Uh, I also do have the radiator overflow attached to the fan shroud, so it kind of gets in the way a little, so i got to move things out. Here you can see that I'm crimping on new connectors for the race fan. Um, due to time constraints, I wasn't able to get new Deutsch connectors for these. There's a few reasons why we chose to have the race fan on the driver's side instead of the passenger side. One being that the coolant flows from the driver's side top radiator to the bottom of the passenger side of the radiator. Another reason is that we have oil coolers and power steering coolers in front of the driver's side as well as the turbo is on the driver's side so the airflow would help with cooling down everything on that side. After that's in, the radiator fan shroud is actually just held on by four 10 mils. Uh, there's two on top and two on the bottom. Now that the fan shroud is bolted in place, we're going to go ahead and reconnect the wires for both the fans. I have each of the fans connected to their own relays, that way when it, the initial startup current draw isn't too high and won't blow fuse. As mentioned before, there might be some clearance issues. For us, we had to get a smaller pod filter in order to clearance the new fan. Otherwise, the old pod filter would hit right up against the fan. Here's a quick comparison between the 12 inch slim fan versus the 12 inch race fan. You can clearly see the race fan has a lot more airflow. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.